and welcome to the Cinema 4D Quick Tips. In this video, I want to show you how you can dock an asset browser showing very specific objects to your layout and save that layout in a way that you can even close Cinema 4D and reopen it. And once you switch to that layout, these specific objects that you stored with the layout will still show up in that asset browser. So let's get started. I want to recreate this kit bashing layout. So I want to start with the model layout. So I click the model layout here to switch back to the original untouched version of it. And then I open up the asset browser. And now I'm going to search for kit bash. And you can see that this search will bring up all of the assets that either have kit bash in their name or kit bash as a keyword. But I want this to show only objects. So what I do as well is I click that little button here and I choose type and I want to restrict the search to objects here. So I type in object and now you can see that we're only showing kit bash objects, but no scenes and no folders. All right, the key to saving this search in a way so that it can show up again in a layout, even if you close Cinema 4D and reopened it again, is to save it as a smart search. And you can do that by clicking that button here again, and then you go down to save as smart search. And I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna name it Kid Bash and hit OK. I'm gonna save it to the preferences database. And now it is saved as a smart search. So if I delete the search here, you can see that under quick access, we have this kit bash entry and this is my smart search. So if I click that, you can see that these objects are showing up again. And now we can dock it to the layout and I'm going to do it by undocking a copy of this asset browser to create a new one. And then I'm going to go to view simple mode, which will get rid of some of the interface elements. Now I can close this asset browser and dock this little one, the simple one, to my layout, like so. And as I said before, the important thing is that this is a smart search. And now we can save this as a layout. So let's hit the plus here in the top right. And we're gonna save the layout as I'm going to call it kit bash and save it. And now you can see that it has been added to my layouts here. Cool, so now we can start adding these objects to the scene and the easiest way to do that is by using the place tool and just dragging and dropping some of the objects in. And now you can see that we can even create duplicates of that and create other ones and so on. And now if I quit Cinema 4D and then reopen it, you can see that the kit bash layout that I just created is up here. I can switch to that kit bash layout and you can see that the smart search is still active in here. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy our quick tips, please like, comment and subscribe.